All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how to multiply a three-digit number by a two-digit number using the grid method. All right, the grid method is basically where you uh, partition the two sets of numbers into the hundreds, tens, and units, and then multiply each of those sets. So, for example, 120 is going to be 100 plus 20, all right, plus 0 just to make sure that it's um, correctly done. And the 13 would uh, partition into 10 and 3. Okay, so let's draw our grid and I'll show you how it works. Uh, we have 100 on the top, 20, and 0, just to make sure that everything is nice and tidy. Oops. Okay, and then we've got 10 here, and we've got 3 here, okay? Now before I get started on this, I need to remind you there are other methods for multiplying two-digit numbers by three-digit numbers and so on, okay? If you prefer a different method, that's fine. You need to make sure then that you have mastered that method. It's no use saying, oh, I don't like this method, I like a different method, but you can't do the other method either. Okay, so whatever method you choose, you must make sure that you have mastered it. And mastery means that you very, very, very rarely make a mistake. You know how to check your work, you check your work accurately and carefully, and it's very rare that you ever make a mistake. Okay, if you are making lots of mistakes in a particular method, whatever method you've so chosen, then you need to either make sure that you practice it, practice it, practice it, or pick a different method. And this is one of the methods that many people, but not all, find very useful. Okay, so in the grid method, you basically have partitioned the three-digit number along the top, and the two-digit number along the bottom, and we just work them out. So 10 times 100 would be 1,000. 10 times 20 is going to be 200, all right? And 10 times 0 is 0, so we don't have to worry about that too much. 3 times 100 is 300. 3 times 20 is 60. And 3 times 0 is, again, 0. And now we just add up these numbers that are in the grid here, okay? So it would be 1,000, let's write it over here, 1,000 plus uh, 200 plus 300 plus 60, and then we don't need to worry about the zeros. So 1,000 plus 200 is going to be 1,200 plus another 300 will be 1,500 plus 60 would be 1,500. And 60. Okay, please go ahead and check my work. Maybe I've made a mistake, but that is how you work out a three digit number multiplied by a two digit number using the grid method. Okay, now just for some practice, you can try working out uh, this question here 271 multiplied by 12. We'll say that that's A, and B might be something like uh, 323 multiplied by 15, okay? And give those two a shot and see how you do, okay? Good luck.